Welcome to Expert Talk Smart Flows. In this session, we'll have a look at formulas. We can use those for quick calculations in the template. We're going to start with a table with a loop. We can add a formula to add the grand total of our line items. We'll insert a formula. And in formulas, we can work with functions, fields, text, and numbers. We can work with mathematical functions, daytime functions, logical functions, text functions, and so on. Here we are looking for the sum function. We want to calculate the sum of our line items. The sum function takes one argument. The argument is the field you want to sum. Here we'll insert a field, and that field would be, of course, from our quote detail, the amount field. We'll select that, OK that, and OK that again to insert the field as the argument. And now we have a neat little function. Instead of selecting functions and fields, you can also just type this in. Let's OK this. And now we'll wait for the settings to come up. As a formula usually returns a number or a currency field, we have to format that formula too. So here we can set the, for, the format to currency English symbol, number of decimals, and a thousand separator. Of course, you can also use expert doc styles for that. Let's create a preview. And that has calculated the total of our line items. Now let's do the same for the row count. I'm going to insert a formula. But this time I'm just going to type in the function and I'll insert a field. Here I want to count the number of line items, so it would work to just count the quote detail. So I'll OK that, I'll OK that. I'll wait for the settings to come up. Again, this is a formula, I need to format it. This time I'll use an expert doc style as a shortcut. Let's OK that and create a preview. And that looks good. Now, if you want to use the outcome of a formula, for instance, in a condition, you might want to look at pseudo fields. If you want to more, know more about functions, you can take a look at our expressions. To finish this session, I want to do one more little trick. We're going to use a formula to get the line number. We'll insert a formula. The one we're looking for is a function called get loop index. So I'll insert a function, type part of the function, select the function, and that will take one argument, in this case the level. By default that is zero, so I'll just key that in, and that will create my function for me. I'll OK that. I'll wait for the settings to come up. And again, I'll use the style to save a little bit of time. Now for the final preview. Yeah, looking great. 
So that's it for formulas. Thank you. Bye-bye.